Welcome guys back guys and uh, in this video we are going to talk about uh, the complications of kidney infection and uh, let me continue reminding you guys to continue subscribing sharing and also liking our videos so that they may reach as many people as possible back to our topic what are the complications or what will happen if a kidney infection is left untreated one there is what we call a kidney scarring what is kidney scarring this <clears throat> and uh, what can kidney scarring lead to kidney scarring simply means kidney damage and it can lead to one high blood pressure if your kidney is not treated it won't function well and it's if it's functioning is compromised it might be it might lead to high blood pressure number two it might lead to what we call a chronic kidney disease number three it can lead to kidney failure and after the kidney have failed guys there is no repair for kidneys the only way out is through dialysis which is most expensive so guys let's take care of our kidneys number two we have what we call blood poisoning how does blood poisoning happen in your kidney if they are left untreated function of the kidney is to do what we call detoxification or removal of uh, unwanted waste products from the body so the kidney filter filter wastes waste from the blood and return eh? return the filtered blood to the rest of the body so if they fail it means that your blood won't be filtered and all the toxins will be which are dangerous to your body will just remain in your system that is what will be will cause what we call blood poisoning number three it can lead to pregnancy complications whereby you may find a lady or a woman can give birth to a low birth weight child next let's discuss about the prevention measures on how we can prevent a kidney infection <clears throat> the aim am we aim at reducing the risk of getting uti or urinary tract infections which are the major causes of kidney infection one is by drinking a lot of a lot of water if you take a lot of fluids uh, it will lead to frequency urination and by so doing you will be washing away the the toxins in your reproductive system or urinary, urinary system and also from your kidney number two urinate as soon as you are here you have the urge when you, some people tend to withhold their urine maybe you, you, you may feel like urinating then you continue holding it this is dangerous to your kidney number three empty your bladder after sexual intercourse how does this prevent a, a, a kidney infection you may find that your partner may be having an a, a urinary tract infection which may enter your system through the urethra so as soon as you have you have an intercourse when you you, you you urinate you flush out the bacteria before they go further into your urinary system number four wipe wipe carefully this especially goes to ladies when you go uh, into the toilet and urinate or have a bowel movement how do you wipe yourself is it from front to back or back to front if you wipe from back to front you will carry all the bacteria from your anal region to your vaginal region and this may cause the bacteria to enter your vagina and all the way to your kidneys so not this the best way to do it is the best way to do it or the best way to wipe after you you, you maybe you urinate or have a bowel movement is from a front to back 
Next point, avoid using products in, uh, in the genital area, especially ladies who usually do dodging, as this may, might irritate uh, your, your, your system and cause entrance of bacteria into your, 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 your kidney through the vagina. Next point, let's discuss about uh, how we diagnose a kidney infection. One, you may get a, a urine sample for bacteria, blood, or pus detection. Number two, we may do what we call catch and sensitivity. This is also going to check the, 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 the bacteria in your kidney. You may also do a CT scan. Next point, let's discuss about the treatment of a kidney infection. Kidney infection in most cases, as we have discussed, is always caused by a bacteria. So, the first line of treatment for a kidney infection is an antibiotic. And the antibiotic will depend on your health and bacteria found in your urine. So, I can't give any specific dosage or any specific drug as this more so will depend on uh, your laboratory tests and also the CT scan which will show the level of your kidney infection and uh, your doctor will give you your treatment according to your level of infection. Not, not that symptoms of kidney infection might clear after a few days when you commence the treatment but this doesn't mean you are healed. Consider what we call drug compliance or taking the whole dose of your drugs. This marks the end of our discussion today. I hope everyone, one of you is blessed. So let's continue encouraging our brother and, uh, brothers and sisters to, go to, to subscribe, like, comment and share. And let's make this channel grow bigger and bigger. Have a good day all of you.